Belling, the wolf. Here. Once there was a flock of sheep with a problem. Fourteen. Here. Fifteen. Here. All right, enough counting sheep. That's quorum. Let's get to the issue. The wolf. Good news, we have a plan. Uh, Jeremy, can you come up here? Okay. If we put this collar on the wolf, we'll always hear where he is. Jingle the bells, Jeremy. No more sneak attacks. <laughs> Jeremy, our bravest sheep, has volunteered, surely to be ripped apart and eaten in the process. It's a suicide mission and this flock salutes you. Excuse me. Why can't it be a you? It's always Ram that go on suicide missions. You know, he, he volunteered for this. We need a male sheep. The fatherless lambs need a role model. What is that? The bell collar plan is too extreme. Can we start with a with a jingly anklet and transition over time into full belling? We're acting as bad as the wolf. Belling? Eating us? It's exactly the same. This is why the wolf won. I don't like his horns. Excuse me? Jeremy is sacrificing his life to save the flock. I have my own preferred candidate. Thank you. What? That guy can't bell a wolf. He's blind. He's deaf. He's probably dead. He's the only member of this flock whose morals entirely align with my personal beliefs. Whether he can bell a wolf is secondary. I read here that Jeremy Sheep has sexual liaisons with shepherds. I read it so it's true. Jeremy grazes too far left on the field. We need a middle browser. I voted for the wolf. Wake up, sheeple. If we wait around for a perfect candidate, we're just gonna keep getting eaten. Well, I can't compromise. I'll never vote for Jeremy. And I'll never vote for who she'll vote for. Let's start over with new candidates, caucus, primary, recall, reject, start over again, and then... <laughs> and the entire flock was eaten by a ravenous wolf. The moral of the story is, those who only look at where they stand miss what's sneaking up behind the... Oh my... There's a wolf. There's a wolf in the booth. Help, help, there's... Ah!